will show you how you can create an AI chatbot for any business in less than 10 minutes. And this chatbot will be trained on your specific data so it can automatically answer questions from your customers. And in this video, I will use the example of a multi-million dollar e-commerce business. Let's get started. So to create our AI chatbot, we will be using Chatbase. Chatbase is a platform that you can use to train a chatbot on your specific data, such as your website, and then it can automatically answer questions about that data. And what's so good about Chatbase is that you can set up a chatbot within minutes and you can also revise the answers of the AI. So AI often gives incorrect answers, but with Chatbase, you can easily improve those answers and then Chatbase will automatically learn from that. So in order to get started with this, you can just go to chatomize.com slash CB and this will bring you directly to the Chatbase website. I also added this link in the description and then here you can just click on try for free and Chatbase has a free plan so that allows you to test out their platform and once you're ready to use this for your business you can just go with their pay plan which only costs $19 a month. So I will just now log in with my Chatbase account and once you are logged in you can just click on new chatbot and then here you need to determine on what data sources you want to train your chatbot. So here you can choose between files, you can choose between text, website URLs, Q&A, you can even connect your own Notion account. And in this video, I will be using My Jewelry as an example. So My Jewelry is a multi-million dollar e-commerce business here in the Netherlands, and they sell jewelry and clothing. So if we go to their website, they have a great website, and then if you go to the bottom, then here you see that they have a customer service page. And almost any business has a customer service page. So when you go to this, you can see all the questions that you can train your chatbot on. So they have questions about okay when will my package be delivered what is the return term but I also have questions about payment like can I use a gift card like what payment methods do you offer so you can basically use this to train your AI chatbot on so if we just go back to chatbase then here you can choose for website and then you can either choose to just fill in the website URL and then chatbase will grab all the links I'm not going to do that because my jewelry has many, many links and we only want to use the customer service links. So what I will do is I will just click on this plus here and then I will add all the individual links from this customer service page. So I'll just do that right now. So now I've added all the links and then here you can just click on create chatbot. And now Chatbase will train itself on all the data of the my jewelry website. So now this kind of trained, but here it still says still training your chatbot on the provided links. So what I recommend to do is just wait for a little bit. And then if you go to sources, then here you will see if you go to the website, you can see that it's still training. So you basically need to wait until it says trained here instead of training. And now I've refreshed the page and you can see that Chatbase has trained itself on all of these URLs. And what's also good to know is that for each URL, you can see the number of characters it has been trained on. And so for example, for this URL, you only see that we have 315 characters. And that's not that much. Like I know there are way more characters on that page than 315. And sometimes this happens, sometimes it happens that Chatbase cannot read a website page that well. So in that case, what I recommend to do is you can just go to that specific page. So in this case, that is about payments. And I just recommend grabbing all of the information that's on that page, then turn that into a PDF and then give the PDF to Chatbase so it can still train itself on this specific URL. So that's what I recommend to do if that happens. But for example, for other pages, for example, with the gift cards, you can see that it has been trained correctly. So once you have trained your Chatbase chatbot, you can just go to the playground and then here we can talk to our chatbot and we can actually improve the answers manually. So here what we can do is you can click on this icon here and then here you can determine the model that you want to use. So here you can choose for GPT-4, you can use Claude, you can use Gemini. You can also determine the temperature, so whether you want to be it reserved or be it creative. And you can determine the system prompt. So you can go with your own custom prompts, but they also have pre-built prompts. So you, here you have a customer support agent, they have a sales agent, they have an AI chatbot. So that's like all working. So you can choose one of these and you can also customize that. And then you need to make sure that you save that to your chatbot. And then here we can basically talk with our chatbot. So for example, I can say, when will my package be delivered? And then it will automatically respond to that. So it will say delivery time for your package depends on the shipping method you selected at checkout. Okay. And then I can say, what is your return term? 
It then says the return term for items is typically 14 days. So this is great, like this is automatically responding to the questions. But what's so great about Chatbase is that we can also revise these answers. So if you go to the activity here, and then here we are at the chat logs, you can actually see all the conversations that your Chatbase chatbot has with you or with any of your customers. And if you think like this answer is not good, you can easily click on revise answer and then you can give the expected response. And what will happen is that Chatbase will learn from this. So the next time that someone asks the same question, it will actually give a better response than it initially gave. And that's also what I recommend you to do. I recommend having a lot of conversations with your AI chatbot and revise all of those answers until it gives the answers that you basically expect from your chatbot. And once you're ready with that, we can actually launch it on your website. So now if we go to settings over here, then the first thing that we can determine is the name of the chatbot. So in this case, I'll just call this my jewelry assistant. And then click on save. And then the next step is to determine the chat interface. So the chat interface is basically how this will look on the website. So this is the initial message. This is also what I call the welcome message. I'll just copy this from my second screen. But what this will say is, hey, I'm the digital assistant of my jewelry. How can I help you? And then we can say, please click on one of the buttons or type in your question below. And then we can add suggested messages. So these are basically buttons where people can click on. So for example, you can uh, fill in delivery time over here or return policy, like anything like that. And people ju can just click on that instead of typing it in themselves. And then if we go to the bottom, we can also add a logo and add specific colors. So here I can just add the My Jewelry logo. I already downloaded that before. And I will do the same thing for the chat icon. So I would just add that as well. And then we can also change the color. So here we have a color, like you can see that here that, that is blue, that's not really in the style of My Jewelry. So I already copied their, the color of their uh, website before, so now it is in pink and that's basically way better so that's basically how you can set up this widget that we can add to the website so now we can hit save and there's just one thing that i forgot to do so if we go back here to ai then here we can also set the training frequency so here you can set this to every 24 hours and now chatbase will retrain itself every 24 hours on your website url so if anything changes on the website Chatbase will automatically retrain itself. So here we can just click on save. And then the last thing that we can do is we can go to leads. And I actually recommend disabling this. So this is by default, this is often enabled. And what this will do is that every time someone starts a conversation with your chatbot, a form will come up with let us know how to contact you with the name, the email and the phone. That's not something that I recommend because this chatbot is meant to automatically reply to questions from customers. We don't want necessarily want to get their name and want to get their email on their phone. So I recommend just disabling all of that. And once you've done that, we can actually add this to our website. So if you go here to connect and then go to the embed here, then here you can just click on make public. And then we basically have two options that we can add to our website. We can add it to like a kind of thing that's like the main thing of our website, or we can add it as a chat bubble to the bottom right of the website. And this is basically what we want to do. So it looks like this on our website. And I will basically show you how you can add this to a WordPress website, which can basically add this to any website, whether you're using Shopify, Wix, Webflow, it doesn't really matter. So now I will be heading over to WordPress. So now I'm in the back end of WordPress and I'm using a plugin called WCode Lite. And then here it has code snippets. So here we can just add a new snippet. Then click on add the custom code. And then we can just paste that code over here. Then we can choose for the site wide header. And that's basically it. So then if we click on active here and save the snippet, then if I go to the front end of my website, and this is basically an e-commerce website, then you can see that it's automatically added. And you can also see that it asks, okay, how can I help you? So here it pops up and then you can basically just click on delivery time. It then says delivery time for your order can vary depending on the shipping method. Okay, and then I can say, what is your return policy? And it says, our return policy allows you to return items within a certain period, provided they are unworn and they are in the original packaging. And that's how you automatically reply to questions with your chatbot. And once your chatbot is ready, you can also connect it to other channels such as Facebook, 
Instagram, and WhatsApp. A big thank you for Chatbase for sponsoring this video and also for creating such an easy platform to create chatbots with. But this is just the start. If you want to see more videos on advanced features or how I integrate this with other platforms, please hit that subscribe button below. For now, get started with Chatbase using the link below and see what it can do for your business.